You know what the scene needs? Lights. Ah, that's better. Hello filmmakers, Ash here and welcome to Film It Yourself. Filmmaking is all about light. After all, it doesn't matter how fancy of a camera you have, bad lighting is still bad lighting. So here's some essential lighting gear you'll need to make sure your film is lit. Oh, not that kind of lit, the lighting lit. First, you'll need lights, duh. I recommend getting some LED lights that have the ability to not only be dimmed, but also change color temperature. This will enable you to use them both indoors and outdoors or for any lighting scene you're trying to do. Also, make sure they come with some sturdy light stands as you don't want them tipping over. And speaking of tipping over, you'll wanna make sure you have a sandbag for every light stand. Sandbagging your light stands is an important step to ensure set safety and protect your lights from nasty crashes to the ground. Next, you'll want to power your lights, so make sure you have plenty of stingers. Oh, no, not that kind of stinger. Stingers are extension cords made especially for filmmaking, but you can use normal extension cords as well. Having a few of these in your lighting kit can really save the day when power outlets are few and far between. And going with those stingers, you'll also want power strips. Power strips can also be lifesavers when power outlets are limited. However, just make sure you're not pulling too much power from any one power strip to avoid causing electrical fires. Next, let's diffuse the situation with some diffusion. Diffusion can come in various forms, but basically it's anything you'd plan to put in front of the light to make it softer. Often it comes in thin plastic sheets, but some lights can also have their own type of diffusion built in. Diffusion is essential if you want to be prepared for every lighting scenario, especially when using LED lights, as their light can be quite hard. And while we're talking about putting things in front of lights, we might as well get a little colorful. Gels can help you change the color of your lights. This can be extremely useful if your lights can't change color temperature, as a simple gel can do the job for you. They can also help you correct magenta or green tints that your lights might inherently have. Or they can also help set a mood in a scene. Also, don't forget some C47s or clothespins to help secure those gels and diffusion to your lights. Next up is black wrap. Black wrap is a black matte finish aluminum foil that is specially used for filmmaking. It's great because its flexibility allows you to have multiple uses and shapes. I love to use it to shape light to prevent it from spilling on areas I don't want it to. And if you can stand it, you'll also want C-stands. C-stands are an essential tool that you'll need to complement your lighting. You can use a C-stand to hang lights off of, hold diffusion or flags, and pretty much anything you can think of. For example, I use them with tennis balls to help with eyeline in a short film where the same actress played seven different characters. So you know, use your imagination. Next is reflectors. Reflectors are a must have for any indie filmmaker who's planning to shoot outside. They can help you harness the power of the sun as another light source. It's like having a light without all the hassle of cords and batteries. Plus, they are lightweight, so if your location is a bit of a hike to get to, they're your best bet. And finally, gloves. Back in the day, lights were hot, like scalding hot, and you really needed gloves to safely touch them. While today's LED lights aren't hot to the touch, it's still a good idea to have a pair in your kit, as you can still injure yourself by setting up other equipment like C-stands without protection for your hands. So, now that you know what essential elements you'll need to light your scene, you can be sure that it will be lit. And again, I mean the lighting one. And if you want a complete list of all of my lighting gear, including this guy, you can get access to it with the link in the description below. Ah, I love good lighting. Spence, did you forget to pay the electricity bill again? Ugh. <laughs> oh. 